this technique I'm going to call the paint and scratch. So I'm going to use acrylic paint for this one just to show you how to, oops, sorry about that. All right, so I'm going to put a dab of acrylic paint on, and then you're going to use three different colors for mine. But you can use one color, two colors. Be careful what colors you choose though because you want to make sure that they um, go together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my acrylic paint and I'm going to rub it across here using my brayer on my jelly print. You want to make sure that it is not too thick in any area. Now because I chose colors that kind of go together, they're going to blend all by itself, which makes it really fun. Last one. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some scratching tools. Now you're not stabbing at it, but I have all different scratching tools and you can scratch into the jelly print without putting holes in it. So lightly scratch. I've got palette knives. You can however you want. I've got sponges you could try. You could even use dry paint brushes and you can paint onto here in a negative way. So you can do it and remove paint with your paintbrush. You might have to wipe it off every so often depending on what you do. And then when you're done, you're gonna take your white piece of paper, make sure your name is already on it before you do this part. You're gonna lay it over top. You can only lay it one time, so make sure you lay it carefully. You're going to rub it by hand, or you can use the Baron. It is up to you. The Baron should always be clean. I'm giving some fingerprints on here. You're gonna rub it, and then when you pull it up, if I did a good job, Look how cool that paper is. Now this could be a background that I can color on for later. So I can put color pencil on here and it's a really cool way to fill in a whole piece of paper. So that is another jelly print technique.